hello welcome back to this channel today i want to take you through the procedure for testing for stationarity in starter using the adf unit root test i already have my data imported into starter and my data is yearly data this is my data I have data running from 2001 to 2020 and these are the variables in my study although in this test I'm going to use only the log of domestic debt the log of external debt and the log of GDP so I want to test how domestic debt and external debt affects the GDP and therefore I'm going to first test the stationarity for each of these variables so that I am able to determine which other tests I'm going to test. Remember that we are going through the series for time series analysis using the ARDA model and in the previous video I explained the steps that you use to test for time series analysis using the ARDM model and we say that the first test that we do is the stationarity test and that is what I'm going to explain in this video. So before or when working with time series data, first the first thing that you do is to tell data that you are working with time series data. And this you do by using the command t, t set, then the variable name for your time. And in my case, it is years. And also remember to write the name of the variable as it appears in your variable variables list. And in this case, my variable name is years. So T set yes. So I have already test. Uh, I've already set the time variable, and that is the yearly data that is running from 2001 to 2020. So the next thing that we do when testing for stationarity, this is how we do it. We go through. You go to statistics, then time series then test and then the ADF unit root test. Then in this we are going to select the variable that you want to test for stationarity and our first variable is the log of domestic debt. Then you have a number of options that you can you can select and first of all I'm going to select the suppress constant term then define the larger difference as one then click submit and these are the results that I get for the stationarity test for the log of domestic debt this this is the T statistic this is the first 1% critical value and this is the 5% critical value and the 10% critical value. And when we were when I was explaining how you test for stationarity, we said that you test for stationarity using the T test and check it against the 5% critical value. And we say that if the T statistic is greater than the 5% critical value then reject the null hypothesis and therefore the data is stationary but if the t statistic is less than the five percent critical value then do not reject the null hypothesis therefore the data is non-stationary in that case we generate the first difference variable and test the stationarity once more so these are the results that we get and we find that our T statistic is 0 0.222 
and our 5% critical value is 1.950. And please also note that when we are checking this, we usually ignore the, the sign. So we are going to ignore the negative sign. So we are going to check this value as it is against this value. So you have 0 0.222 against 1.95. And we find that 0 0.22, which is our T statistic, is less than 1.95. Therefore, we conclude that the variable log of domestic debt is non-stationary at level. We can also check this by including the trade term. So we select the include the trade term and submit and here we find that the t statistic is 1.284 and this is 3.6 so this confirms that the variable is non-stationary since 1.284 is less than 3.6 still we can select the include drift term and see what we get so here we get 1.414 against 1.753 and 1.414 is still less than 1.753 therefore this confirms that the log of dd is non-stationary at level we say that after testing and if we find that the variable is non-stationary at level, we generate the first difference variable. And this we use the command generate. Then we define the new variable, say d log of dd is equals to d dot, then write the variable as it appears in your in your variables names so that is log of dd so you see that we have generated a new variable that is the first difference log of dd and if it if we check it in the data we find it is here this is the new variable that we have generated and that is the d log of dd so then we need now to check if the variable is now stationary at first difference so we follow the same procedure go to statistic time series then to test then adf unit root so here we are now not going to, to select this variable we are going to select the new variable that you have generated let us suppress the constant term and submit and these are the results that we get we get the t statistic is 2.805 and the 5% critical value is 1.95 and 2.805 is greater than 1.95 950. Therefore, now we say that the log of domestic debt is it is stationary at first difference because now this value is greater than the 5% critical value. And therefore, we say that the log of domestic debt variable is it is stationary at first difference, so it, it is integrated of order one. So now we are going to follow the same procedure to test the stationarity for the other variables. So now we go to statistic, then to time series, go to test, and then the ADF. Now we define the variable or we select the variable, the log of ED, suppress the constant term, then select the larger difference as one, and then submit the results we get are here this is the t statistic it is 0 
and the 5% critical value is 1.95 and therefore since this is less than this value we conclude that the variable log of ed is is non stationary at level we can still check it by including the trade term and confirm this is the value that we get at 0 0.854 which is less than 3.6 so this confirms that the variable is non stationary still we can check it using the include drift term and we get this as the t statistic is 1.277 and the 5% critical value is 1.753 so we say that the variable is non stationary at level in that case then we generate the first we generate the first difference variable generate d log of ad is equals to d log of ad so we have generated another variable and this is the variable that we have generated the first difference now we check the stationarity using the first difference variable go to statistic then to time series test and then the adf so here we select this variable and suppress the constant term then submit now we find that the t statistic is 2.555 and the 5% critical value is 1.95 therefore after generating the first difference we find that the variable log of ed becomes stationary since 2.55 is greater than 1.95 so the variable is stationary at first difference so it is integrated of order 1 still we can do for the log of GDP and then we submit you find that also this variable is non stationary at level since the T statistic is 1.462 and the 5% critical value is 1.95 therefore this is less than this value and therefore we say that it is non-stationary so what we are going to do is then to generate we generate the first difference variable d log of gdp is equals to d log of gdp now we have generated another variable and this is the variable that we have generated test again for the stationarity we select the new variable that you have generated then submit now we get the t statistic as 2.391 and the 5% critical value as 1.95 and therefore since this is greater than the 5% critical value we say that the log of GDP is stationary at first difference so now you note that for all the variables they are none all, all of them are non stationary at level but they are all stationary at first difference and we say that if we test the stationarity for the variables and find that all of them are either stationary at level that is they are integrated of order zero or are integrated of order one then we can run the johansen cointegration test so for this model we are going to run the johansen cointegration test but for this video i was only taking you through the stationarity test and i hope you have understood that process i hope you find this this content to be helpful and in the next video we are going to the to the next step 
that is that is selecting the optimal lag since we say that the steps that you follow when learning or when analyzing time series data using the ARDM model is first you test for stationarity then select the optimal lag and then then you run the Johansen cointegration test if the variables are or all the variables are integrated of order zero or of order one and if there is a combination of the the, 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 the integration that is some are integrated of order zero and others are integrated of order one then we run the bounds test so the next video i'm going to to show you how to select the optimal lag so please watch out for the next video by subscribing to this channel also click the notification bell so that you will be able to get notification for the next video as as i upload it so that is it for today please do not forget to like this video also leave a comment and also share the video thank you